Hey everybody, Chamber here with tonight's review of Doctor Who. We got story number five, The Keys of Marinus. I don't know why I struggle on that word. So this story is six episodes long. They're all intact, so we get to watch all of them. But, oh God, it was, it was difficult. It was a little hard for me to get into this. Uh, which is weird because it was written by Terry Nation, the one, the person who wrote the Dalek story. So this one kind of was a little bit patched together. It's it's basically like a puzzle, and that's what it's about. The the team arrive on a planet, and their arrival scene's great. It's it's some cheesy '60s effects, but it's really interesting because we see like this this outline. Of, it's clearly a model with uh, like the the TARDIS and it's blinking and stuff. It's a really interesting effects and stuff like that, which it's what they did back then. And so from there, we get to this island and there's glass all over the beach. And so we're already like, well, what is this? Like, is the sand turned into glass? Is the glass here? And then we realize that this beach, the water is actually acid. So there's, there's a lot of stuff going on right from the beginning. And then as it slowly develops, we go into a large building and we have we meet an individual who needs four keys and so he scatters the group so that they, they have to go find the keys and there we get to the main plot of this hence the title and so it's interesting they they kind of scatter a little bit and the doctor goes off on his own which they did that because out of the six episodes William Hartnell's not in I think it was two of them they kind of blend together when you watch them all in a row he's because he he went on a holiday so it was kind of a way to just kind of write him out for a little bit and then he ends up coming back at the end just in time to save the day and a lot goes on in these six episodes there's one point where everybody gets hypnotized except for barbara there's a part i gotta go through my notes um they they go through a um a melting like cavern stuff there's um uh, and then finally Ian gets accused of murder. So the whole end part is a courtroom setting. So there's a lot going on in this one. And it's interesting, the way they keep going to all these places is they have these little devices. They're like little watches, basically. And it allows them to move through space, but not time. So it's almost like little mini watch TARDISes. And Ian's like, that can't be real. And the doctor's like, seriously? Like, we travel in a phone booth. So it's it's interesting. The the acting is great. Some of the effects are really well done. I just for me six episodes of them basically just looking for keys. It it got a little drawn out for me. I'm I'm oversimplifying it, but I mean, you kind of have to for these type of reviews. So if you guys have seen this one, did I miss something? Was this episode just not for me? Like like I said, it it was good. It just drawn out if if they kind of trim the fat a little bit i think it would have been a lot better so for those who have seen this one go ahead let me know what you guys think thank you guys for everything and i will see you guys next time for the aztecs